What is up guys, today we're going to be talking about being shredded and the natural limit. I think I've talked about this before in another video. I've talked about the natural limit and being shredded. But anyhow, I feel like I was shredded for like maybe two summers ago. In 2023 I was shredded in the summer and I was about, I went from 90 kg down to 78 and I was pretty much lean, you know, bones in my lats and everything, veins everywhere, even shoulder veins popping out, like, I was really shredded. And what that experience taught me was, it's really shit to be shredded, and honestly I just wanted to make progress, like it's nice for videos and pictures to take for a little bit, little, and to look good outside in the summer, but outside of that I pretty much wanted to get back on the bulk like yeah it's nice to have a lean face too and everything but all I really wanted to do was get back on the bulk and I feel like a lot of people if they complain about the natural limit a lot of it comes down to being too lean to the point where they're too lean so they never make progress because I know this on this bulk that I'm on right now I feel like I'm pushing past my limits very easily when I'm bulking, like especially now that I'm I left the legs and back out of my training program, I can pretty much push my bench and my arms and my delts and my abs pretty well, and I feel like I'm making more progress in those in those four areas compared to when I was just doing legs and back and everything at the same time. I was not making progress, so I just just noticed the difference. And even when you go from shredded to back to bulking, if you do it properly, like a lean bulk, you actually notice you're actually getting kind of like more shredded as you bulk. Like you start seeing veins pop out more as you bulk. A little bit, maybe not like a shredded type, but like you start seeing your veins pop out more when you're bulking because you're increasing your muscle mass. For example, in the shoulders, arms and chest and you start seeing those shoulder veins start pop out more even though you're bulking, that's weird right? I'm seeing my shoulder veins are basically popping out more right now when I'm bulking compared to when I was 10 kilos less heavy so at 78 versus now 88 where I'm at now about in weight my shoulder veins are popping out more right now by not even having a really uh, any pump than they were before, which means that I've gained more muscle mass in my arms and shoulders and chest. And that's kind of crazy to be honest, is I'm basically getting leaner and bigger over time because I'm lean bulking and, I, and my progress on strength on the bench and everything is going up, arms and delts are going up and it's just like, why not bulk? Like, I feel like a lot of people mistake that there's some kind of a natural limit that you're going to reach very fast even in like five years which is not really the case I know a lot of people who've been training for 10 to 20 years who are still making a significant amount of progress not going to be like crazy progress obviously as I'm not sure but like they're still making progress in lifts and myself I don't consider myself to be at the natural limit at all if anything I'm just getting started. Um, I still think I could add like a solid four to six inches into my arms if I really wanted to, which I'm working on. But like I could add a solid four to six inches at least into my arms probably over time if I really work hard on it and bulk. And I could still add a lot of weight on all of my lifts pretty much. And I could gain a lot of size everywhere. So. I feel like there's a lot of people who reach my level of fitness where I'm at right now and they think they've reached the natural limit because they're slow on progress. But the reality is you can still keep training and making a lot of progress. And a lot of people, you know, it, it, I understand if you don't want to lift anymore to get more jacked, but you know, and you want to just maintain what you have and you're happy with that, that's fine. But I feel like there's a lot of people who actually do want to make progress, but they think they're at a natural limit. So they hop on like steroids or something to make progress. And I feel like that's pretty pointless. At the end of the day, it just comes down to eating a good diet, being in a surplus, training hard, sleeping well, 
etc. Living a healthy life. And just being consistent and patient, which is what most people lack nowadays, so they can't do it. Or they're pressured by the fitness community to hop on or something. But I think a lot of people just need to dial in their training more and dial in their nutrition side and recovery side properly so they can actually focus and make progress. Especially training is fairly important once you get to a place where you're starting to stagnate. And that's where a lot of people think they hit the natural limit when in reality there's in a period of stagnation because they're not training properly or they need to push past the plateau. So. It would be easy for me to, for example, say right now that I'm at a natural limit because I've been not gaining as much progress as I would like to. For example, for my arms, I've been making progress, but not like super fast, right? So it could be easy for me to say I've hit a natural limit if I wanted to, but I feel like that's just a mindset to give up. Is to say I've hit a natural limit, is to just to give up. Like unless you're actually elite level, almost advanced elite level guy in lifting and you have crazy numbers and insane physique like 18 to 20 inches arms and absolutely crazy bench dead, dead, dead squat and then you know crazy numbers on curls and everything unless you have that and you can do pull-ups with like three plates or two plates or something crazy then like you're probably not at your limit but I know guys who are doing crazy numbers who are not at their limit they're still pushing new numbers eventually so I just don't believe in a natural limit I think we all have different genetics of course which affect our progress and how much our baseline can progress how fast over time some people have less baseline below average genetics some people have average genetics which is most people and then some people have above average in some areas and some people are really above above average but again, for the most part, most people can gain a lot of muscle with just consistency and pushing past limits. And I don't think you're going to reach a limit even in 10 years of natural training unless you've really done everything properly and you have like certain numbers you can show off that are definitely indicating that you're hitting your limit to an extent. But I still don't believe in a limit. And that's pretty much the main thing in this video is I don't believe there's really a natural limit. Even maybe if there are, if there are like 15 to 20 years of training, there might be a limit because you've pretty much probably exhausted all of your gains at that point to a large extent. But most people don't even make it to that point where they're like training 15 years and they're advanced and they can pull like maybe 300 kg deadlift. They can bench four plates squat like at least 250 kg like most people don't even reach those numbers ever most people just stagnate for years and they just maintain a normal fitness level or they complain about not being able to reach their goals in fitness but they're not doing things properly most people i see anyway in the gym they're not really progressing they're just stagnating same numbers same things every day every week every month every year no change whatsoever and that's basically the main problem with people is they don't dial shit in. But anyways, I hope this video opens up some ideas about the natural limit for you. And I hope this video gives you the motivation to push past those limits that you think you might have set for yourself. Because I think a lot of people have a lot of potential within going towards their natural limit and most people think they reached it but they haven't at all so I hope this gives you some ideas maybe some new thoughts about the natural limit and being shredded if you're one of those guys who likes to stay really lean I would recommend you the book honestly like yeah you might lose some definition but if you lean bulk you're gonna stay pretty lean and you can just get bigger slowly over time and have feel way better have higher test etc. So this is kind of a advocating better training and bulking video in a sense. Thank you for watching.